what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are back with another new look rebuild we only have four of these teams left to do so after this one today we only have three left and then we could do some challenges for 2k23 drops and of course we're on to 2k23 but today we are going to be doing a new look atlanta hawks rebuild before we get into today's video make sure you guys drop a like in this one subscribe if you're new to the channel as always greatly appreciated as we try to reach 30,000 subs for the end of this year i don't know if that's possible but Hey, maybe you could help me out with that. Greatly appreciate it. So when it comes to the Atlanta Hawks, the last time I did a Hawks rebuild, I think I messed up pretty badly. I traded away on Yaka on Kongwu, but today I actually want to make him my starting center at some point, just because it seems like he could be that guy pal. So I want to make sure that happens today. As far as what we're going to do with John Collins, I'm not sure about him either, but I really just want to put this team in the best position possible and where I think they're going to go going forward. So for this first season, I don't think I'm going to do anything. Possibly at the trade deadline, we go ahead and maybe make that trade where Onyekan Kong was the starting center. He's developing into an 80 overall, which is really good to see. I want to see him to continue to develop in this game. That way I'm feeling confident about putting him out there. But he's only three overall less than Clint Capella. Maybe we move Capella at the deadline, get something different, and Yakan Kongwu is our center going forward. So, like I said, last time I did a Hawks rebuild, I traded him away in a trade that got me DeAndre. And today, I don't want to do that. I want to keep him around, make him my starting center, and see how this Hawks team can perform. But we all know the story of this offseason was them getting DeJounte Murray. So, DeJounte Murray and Trey Young, I'm sure we're all excited about seeing what that's going to look like. Uh, just another ball handler next to Trey Young, but this is what the starting five will look like at least for now. Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Capella, Bone Domodonovich, Anyeka Kangwu, Frank Kaminsky, and Justin Holiday, and then AJ Griffin also getting some minutes as well, which I'm okay with. And then as far as shots industries are concerned, you have Trey Young up to a 99, which I think is fair. I would move Murray up to like a 88. DeJounte Murray's been acting different since he got traded to Atlanta. The man is definitely uh, out there. I mean, we all saw the offseason clips of uh, some shenanigans he was kind of rolling with. I'm gonna move Collins up to an 80. I want him to have a bigger role, and then Capella is fine. Bodon's fine. Maybe DeAndre Hunter to like a 67-ish or something like that. So I think I'm going to leave the rest the way it is. We're going to simulate the season, possibly the stop of the trade deadline, and maybe we make Onyeka and Kongwu the starting center this year, or we wait until the offseason to do it. The roster is actually doing pretty decent, so I don't think I'm going to make that Capella trade just yet, but in the offseason, since he has a couple years left, we might make it there, but... Uh, we do have some extensions to give out. DeJounte Murray, as we know, only has two years left of his contract, but it looks like he's willing to re-sign, so I think it only makes sense for this for us to do this because, of course, we gave up, for, what was it, four first-round picks to get him, so let's make sure he stays here. DeAndre Hunter, right now, is not deciding whether or not he wants to re-sign. Bojan Bogdanovic is actually a really solid, uh, you know, backup player, so I kind of like the idea of keeping him around. He's got an $18 million player option. I'm not sure if you'd accept it or not. If he accepts it, that gives us the ability to make a trade. But I think I'd rather just go ahead and give him an extension, have him around for the time being. Justin Holiday's actually gone up in overall, so I'll go ahead and give him one as well. And then Aaron Holiday, why not? Let's keep the Holiday brothers on the minimum contracts, and then that is going to be it. So I don't think I'm going to make a trade right now. We are currently the sixth seed. I feel like we're going to be higher than that by the end of the season, but for now... We are going to wait till the offseason to make that Capella trade if we do make it. The Luka Doncic wins MVP. Chet is your rookie of the year. Tyler Hero is your sixth man. Matisse Thibel wins defensive player of the year. And James Wiseman is your most approved player for the Golden State Warriors. Ime Udoko is your coach of the year. So I'll be first thing got Luka and Trey Young making it, which is a W. So Trey Young had himself a great year despite having Murray next to him, which is fantastic to see. All NBA second team, All NBA third team. DeJounte Murray making an All NBA team is actually really cool as well. Uh, so I'm excited to see how those two did together because both of them on the All-NBA team is fantastic. All-Defensive first team and All-Defensive second team and DeJounte Murray, it, DeJounte Murray making it as well. Honestly, he might have sold the bag by uh, signing his extension at that deadline. He probably could have gotten a lot more after making both of those for sure. But hey, that's okay. So we're the third seed in the West or in the East Eastern Conference. Player stats wise, we had 30 from Trey Young, 20 and 6 from DeJounte Murray along with 7 assists. So definitely a good stat line from John Tamer, John Collins was 17 and 8, and then he also shot 39% from three. So, I mean, honestly, I don't see the reason to trade John Collins away. I think he's like the most perfect center we could have or power forward we could have next to Dragon Murray. I know his defense, his defense isn't the best, and uh, maybe he can get better on that end, but I do like him a lot, especially here in 2K. So, I don't know if I'll ever look to move John Collins just because I feel like he does a fine job. And then we have nine and nine and 1.6 blocks, and then you have on Yakan Kongwu with eight six and 1.3 blocks so there look the stat lines are so similar i know capella is a little bit taller but i think it is definitely going to be 
where we move Capel in the offseason for maybe a better small forward, maybe a better whatever it may be, or maybe even more depth. Who knows? So we get Miami in round one, which is uh, actually interesting because as we know, these teams played off last year in the playoffs. So this should be fun. We're going to run a nine man rotation and we are going to shrink the rotation down. AJ Griffin is going to get those last few minutes. Here we go. Let's see if we can beat the Miami Heat. Someone in current round. And we are going to get revenge on the Miami Heat and beat them in five. So 31 and 13 from Trey Young, 23 and 10 from Jajon Murray. And that closeout game, Odipo drops 23. Now we get the Toronto Raptors. The Raptors are one of those teams that are definitely looking really good on paper. And uh, I'm curious to see how we match up against them. So similarly current round against them. And we get swept in round two by the Toronto Raptors. Fair enough. That's okay. So I think my biggest move, like I said, this offseason, I've been kind of hinting at it or been talking about it this whole time is we are going to go ahead and give uh, Nyekan Kangwu the keys to the starting uh, center spot. So, Capella will be on the move for us. Now, as far as what I'm going to get for Capella, I'm not sure. Honestly, I feel like I'm not looking for a starter. I think I'm looking to get depth for Capella. So, I know the Hornets are always looking for a center, so maybe we can get some uh, depth pieces out of them. Pistons get number one, so they're going to get Wevin Yama, which is crazy. You got the Thunder having number two, so they're going to be able to draft Scooter Henderson if they want to, and the Hornets, whatever they decide to do. So, we have this 27th pick in the draft. This should be interesting to see what we could potentially do with Capella's money. Maybe we can get another starter. I want to resign De DeAndre Hunter, of course. I like him here uh, for his perimeter defense. As long as the man is healthy, he's a great starting small forward. So if we can sign DeAndre Hunter back, get Capella on a different team, I think this could be a good offseason for us. And uh, we already got Murray extended, so that's a good sign as well. So let's go ahead and start. Let's move Capella. I actually didn't expect that to go through immediately, but the Charlotte Hornets have agreed to my trade offer. I mean, I thought I had definitely was going to offer a little bit more, but no, we go ahead and make this trade happen. So basically, we got Terry Rozier for Capella straight up, which I did not expect it to go through, but that gives us a backup guard off the bench. That just makes our bench even stronger. So like I said, we just pretty much gave the keys to Onyeka Nkongwu now. So that makes Nkongwu the starting center. And Rozier is going to be a really good six man, which is kind of why I like the idea of him here in Atlanta. So uh, we don't need it. It's not we didn't necessarily need Rozier, but the Charlotte Hornets needed a center and Rozier is going to be the best bench player we can for sure get. If I move into point guard, does he actually go up and overall? He does not move. So, I mean, either way, uh, it looks like he's up at point guard. So we can move Rozier to the back of point guard and he's going to be a really good six man for this Hawks team. So I really love the addition of Rozier here and giving the keys to Nyakon Kongwu. So... We are still, we also still have our draft pick, which is fantastic. So at number 27, we're going to go ahead and select, I mean, whatever is available here. We got Shannon, Alan Flanagan, Harrison Ingram. I'm going to take Harrison Ingram. I think I've had success with him in the past. We'll take him and then we'll take Trace Jackson Davis. So welcome to the team, both you guys. If you decide to stay here, that's awesome. Scooter Harrison fell all the way to the Knicks at four. That is a great pickup for them. Yeah, Thompson go number three to the Hornets and Derek Lively, number two to the Thunder. Rookie signing, we're going to sign everyone we just drafted. And then player options, we got uh, Shreve Cooper and Tyrese Martin. I'll accept Shreve Cooper, but Tyrese Martin, I'm not going to worry about. DeAndre Hunter and Skylar Mays. I do want to re-sign DeAndre Hunter, of course. And then free agents, we have uh, DeAndre Hunter, Frank Kaminsky. So I'm not worried about Frank Kaminsky too much. But rotation-wise, we're going to have Trey Young, Terry Rozier. We're going to have, uh, well, Justin Holiday is probably going to go down overall, so I don't really have to rely on him, but I do like him. AJ Griffin's going to be the backup small forward to Bo. Actually, no, he won't. What are we going to do here? So... AJ Griffin, Bogdan, I do like, uh, but we're going to get DeAndre Hunter back. We have Jalen Johnson, who looks like he's actually ready to step into maybe a power forward spot role, which is great. So it looks like we need a backup center and then we need DeAndre Hunter back. So if I moved Bogdan a shooting guard, does he go down? He does. If I moved AJ Griffin a shooting guard, he goes down as well. I'm going to have Bogdan play the backup shooting guard spot and AJ Griffin be that backup small forward for us, I think. And then we're going to have Jalen Johnson play the backup four. And then we need a backup center and DeAndre Hunter back. So whether that's getting Montres Harrell or maybe a bigger big, which is probably what we should be looking for is a bigger center just because a Yucca and Kongwa is a little undersized, but man, the guy could play some defense. So am I even really worried about that? I'm going to get Montres Harrell off the bench. I mean, he's the best center out here for sure. I do not want to renounce DeAndre Hunter by any means. So let's not do that because I want my man DeAndre Hunter back. And I'm going to go ahead and give DeAndre Hunter his well-deserved extension for year 12 million. I feel like he'll get like four years, 17 million. I feel like is what... DeAndre Hunter's market will be when he is a free agent. So I'll go ahead and give that to him. Unless if he just like absolutely just can't stay healthy and his market just tanks. But if he played like he did last year in those playoffs, uh, I think he'll be getting around that. So I like our new rotation on Kongwa is the brand new center. We got Terry Rozier to be our six man. I like the new additions here and we're going to hope this is going to be good enough. 
And I'm hoping Akangwa develops even higher here. Let's see. Akangwa was up to an 82. John Collins an 87. Rozier is still an 83. Bodon's going down, which I kind of figure. Sharif Cooper is even up to a 78. So that's cool to see. And then both the Holiday brothers are down. And then AJ Griffin and Jalen Johnson are up. So both those guys are going to be a huge part of what we do this season. So excited to get some of that youth in our rotation. But let's go look at our rotation in this next season and see how we can do. Trey Young and John Tamari led the way. They're going to have a little bit more help from Terry Rozier off the bench, which is why I'm super excited about that new addition. And then Kongwu gets all the freedom in the world to be the starting center. So I'm excited about this. So this is what uh, the rotation is looking like. Trey Young, John Murray, DeAndre Hunter, Collins. On Kongwu is the starting center. Rozier is your sixth man. Bo Don, Montrose Harrell, and Jalen Johnson. Uh, so AJ Griffin's not getting any minutes right now. And then Sharif Cooper isn't as well. Uh, honestly, I would rather see, maybe I don't need Montrezl Harrell on the rotation. I'm going to probably put AJ Griffin over Montrezl Harrell, to be honest with you. I want to see AJ Griffin and Jalen Johnson both contribute. And then Rozier and Bodon are going to be great scorers off the bench for us. I'm excited about that. I'm going to give Rozier even like 32 minutes or 31. We'll give Rozier 31 minutes. I want to be like the sixth man of the year if possible. So, uh, we are four and a half perimeter centric, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and move that to perimeter centric. And then as far as shot tendency are concerned, we got uh, Trey Young, John Murray, and then Rozier's shot tendency is at a 73. I'm going to move it up to an 80 with uh, John Collins because I want him leading the bench unit and scoring at a high clip. Let's go ahead and somebody season number two, and let's see how this uh, roster does. So Joel Embiid wins MVP this year. Webb and Yama is your rookie of the year in Detroit, which Detroit's got themselves a squad now. So honestly, the idea of me winning a championship in this video has just got even more slim because... Webb and Yama, Kid Cunningham, Jay Nivey. Not really sure if I'll be able to beat that team, but we'll see. Six man goes to Tyler Hero. Yama's defensive player. And then Theo is your most improved. And you got Doc Rivers winning coach of the year. Tyler Jamison is your executive. So all of your first team, Luca, LaMelo, Giannis, Tatum, and B. So no Trey Young this year. Uh, he does not make all NBA second team either and does not make all NBA third team. So after having both guys on all NBA teams, neither one of them make it. Uh, John just still makes all defensive second team though. So we are the four seed in the East. We get to play the team that swept us in the second round last year, which is the Toronto Raptors. 23 from Trey Young, 20 from John Collins, 17 from Murray, and 16 from Terry Rozier. And then DeAndre Hunter scored 14 as well off of his extension, which is cool. Onkongwu had 11 and 9 and also two blocks per game, which is great to see. So I'm glad to see Onkongwu is succeeding and thriving as our starting center. But it looks like the scoring was a little bit more well-rounded. Rozier definitely played a huge role, possibly in that six-man role. So I'm glad to see that. Uh, but of course, uh, moving on is the most important thing in the playoffs. AJ Griffin and Jalen Johnson didn't score a whole lot, but when they did, they made the most of it uh, seven and four. And then Bodon had nine. So here we go. We get, to, like I said, we get to play the team that beat us last year. So I'm not really sure what to expect here, but hopefully we can take them out this year and get some revenge. Game one, we're up one to zero. So that's already a better start than last year. Two to zero. Maybe we can, nope, I was about to say, maybe we can do the same thing to them. But no, it's a two to two uh, series, three to two. And we beat them in six. And we are on to the second round. So back to the second round. And now we get the Philadelphia 76ers. So the 76ers are probably looking to get revenge on this Hawks team based off a couple years ago. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can beat this team. They got Harden, Maxi coming off the bench. Melton is starting for them, which is very interesting. They got kind of their own six man, but they beat us game one. They beat us game two. So, so far, we might be getting eliminated in round two once again. I'm going to go to an eight man rotation and see if that can save me. Can we win game three? Potentially, we do. Can we win game four? We do not. Can we win game five? We do. Can we win game six? We do. So we're going to a game seven with Philadelphia. So this could be our ticket to the Eastern Conference Finals if we're able to upset the 76ers here. Can we do just that? Or are we going to go home and have to go back to the drawing board in the offseason? It is a close game. I would jump in, but 2K is not going to allow me to get back to the menu. So I'm not going to do it. Over time, and we do beat them by one point. 23 from DeJounte. 23 from Rozier off the bench and 20 from DeAndre Hunter. And I think I saw the Pistons were waiting me. And yeah, I'm not feeling good about my chances here, honestly. So Detroit's got Webb and Yama and uh, Cade Cunningham. So honestly, I'm feeling like we're going to lose this series for sure. Got Miles Turner as well. Christian Wood. Christian Wood is back into Detroit. Feeling Hayes is starting shooting guard. I don't know, man. I feel like the Pistons are just loaded right now with Webb and Yama. Yeah, so we lose game one. Not a good start. Game two, we even it up though. Okay. Game three, two to one. Okay, wait. Wait, when never mind. We beat them in six, please. Come on. No, we're going to a game seven with the Pistons, man. I thought we had it here. Game seven in Atlanta. We have to take care of business, man. Detroit is too early, man. This is our year. We've, we've been developing this team. We got to take care of business. We cannot lose to the Pistons here. Looking good so far, but that doesn't mean we're out of it just yet. It's actually a very close game. 
think we got it though. 107 115. We are advancing to the NBA Finals. We beat the Pistons, and honestly, I think this is our best chance because I think Detroit's gonna only get better. Webb and Yama's gonna develop into a stud, and now we get the Warriors. So Warriors versus Hawks, Trey Young versus Stephen Curry. The comparisons used to be there like crazy. I remember when Trey Young first got drafted, everyone compared him to Stephen Curry. What does Steph think about that? I guess we get to see. So it is a NBA Finals Warriors versus Hawks. Can we beat them? Game one. Down one to zero. Not a great start. Game two. Leaving it up. Game three. We're up two to one. Game four. Two to two. So we're going to win game five. A very, very important game five in Atlanta, might I add. So we got to win this one uh, to put ourselves in the driver's seat. The Warriors have had plenty of championships. It's time for Trey Young and DeJounte Murray to get one. It's looking good in this game five so far, but we're not out of it just yet. And it's looking like we're going to win and we do beat them in game five. So 26 from Mazir and then 22 from Trey Young. Going to a game six in Golden State. They want to go ahead and put Montres Heroin. I just can't agree with that. I like what I'm rolling with right now. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it the way it is. We're going to go tight and deny. And we're going to see if we can beat the Warriors here in this game six to win ourselves a NBA championship on their home floor. Celebrating San Fran. It's looking good so far. And I think it's safe to say, ladies and gentlemen, unless they come back at the very end. But I think... We have beaten the Golden State Warriors, and that is going to end off the video. Let's go, baby. We have won a championship with the Atlanta Hawks. I was actually going to jump in to do the championship celebration, but I messed up. Oh, well. I'm going to end it off on that note. I don't think we're going to win another one. I think Detroit is going to be much better next year, and then we're going to get swept by them. I'm going to imagine. I just can already imagine. Today, I did not get upset by an eighth seed, and that is a good video. Might I add, every freaking video, I am upset by an eighth seed. Today, I did not have to worry about that as I never... Claim the first seed today, which I'm kind of happy about. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe that's the new meta. Don't get the first seed. Stay in the middle with a good team like the Atlanta Hawks. But we go on to win the championship. Trey Young is your finals MVP. 30.7. Yeah, 10 assists from him. 54% from the field and 48% from three. So the Atlanta Hawks go on and win it all. I love what we did in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, only three more of these left to do. And honestly, I'm not even sure if I should do the Jazz or the Knicks. I'm like... Should I even do them? Because as soon as I do them, they could be a totally different roster. So uh, I think the other team I haven't done is the Indiana Pacers. So we'll see. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, this is Crushables. I am saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.